Kaladasa has, like I say, has the reaver, the uh, operatives cutter. I think it's got a new ship. Can't remember for sure, and it's got. Alright, as you can see here, this is a converted 1775 game from Academy Games. The uh, people converted into a miniature style game. Looks like it's about 6 millimeter and uh, quite beautiful. Uh, very ingenious idea. Takes me back to my days as a historical miniature war gamer. And uh, that would be something I would definitely be interested in, in playing. Again, nice, nice topographical map. You see the undulations of the terrain, really capturing that 1775 board game feel. I like wooden dice. Yeah, me too. Okay. Then also, if you, if you roll the dice, they're uh -huh. not that loud. Have you, have you played right. Space Kids uh, Dice Duel? Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I like it's a funny game, but it's really loud because everybody's rolling right. plastic dice. Right. I guess I didn't pay attention to the Kickstarter. Yeah, it, it's difficult. Uh, because you never know how good the painting will be in the end. It's, right. it's a mess painting. So, right. some 
Chinese factories do really well, and the others only okay. Right. So before you shell out like 150 bucks for a limited, and then you're disappointed. I can understand people. About You don't mind if I shoot a little? Okay. No. Sorry. I should ask. But don't do it. I, I'm assuming, you know, most people don't want to show off anything. They don't. No, absolutely they, 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 What the hell are They want to keep a secret. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is a closed event. This is right. Right. Obviously, can't you see the giant uh, it's harps? Exclusive, right? You yeah, well, this is exclusive. Exclusivity. We just launched it today. So, oh. Or yesterday. Well, there you yesterday, go. Technically. technically. And this is five crests. It's a hybrid trading card game. Okay. Original based IP in, from our, con yeah. our company. Actual original IP. Wow. So, not based on a comic book. Not we've based had we've had so story. many people like like what IP is this based off of? What comic? I want to read more. You mean you're creative? <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Let's not get pretentious. Okay. okay. It's, it's, it's artisanal, but it's artisanal. <laughs> we, hey, we hand packed every single one of these, and I'm not joking. We did. Comes with a little love, right? Yeah. Or a little love and hate, sweat, and sweat, and sweat and maybe, just, you know. If only, if only they could hear your cursing as you're <laughs> packing that. When you open one. Um, Come on! Come on! So what? So, 29, 29. what's the basis of the game? I mean, obviously, I know it's a card game. <clears throat> basis of the game is that you play as a mob lieutenant. Right, like so, it. So the mob actually has control over an element called Villium. And Villium is all things great in the world. And in this particular timeline, this is an alternate history. It takes place in Detroit in the 1960s. Okay. The mob has had a stranglehold on this for a very long time. And in order to keep that stranglehold, they developed five groups to manage their affairs. They diversified, but they are still all first, their first family. So you play as a lieutenant in that organization, trying to come up in your own way, and you represent that guild, and then you battle other guilds for supremacy. So what the gist of the game is, it is a knockdown, drag out street fight. Um, takes about 10 to 15 minutes to play, so it's generally like super quick. Um, but yeah, that's that's the gist of it. So you are you are fighting. You have associates. You have uh, your. They use the villain like a drug. Okay. It's very much like uh, it's used in a way that they crush it, they sniff it, they get powers from it. Uh, the bruisers are basically your dock workers, your steel union guys. They use their fists, big fists, and a lot of gear, street signs, bats, whatever they can get, whatever they can get their hands on. The Faceless are a religious group. Uh, they have formed a cult around the villain. It's the truth and the way and the life. And if you don't follow the Faceless, they'll use your sins against you. They tend to mill your deck down, they'll make you force discard, and then they'll use cards out of your disc pile against you, or discard pile against you. And then we have our, our classic guild, our triggers. They use the mob ways, the old ways, guns and ammunition and explosives. And if they run out, there's always more ammunition. So which one of these would you like to try? Uh, let's go old school. So we're looking for maybe like a scenario based game where you can take your deck, play against the NPC deck, and it's just flipping the deck to play the combats out. Yeah, that's, that's, out. Becoming, and, that's becoming And eventually, I imagine you'll have tournament concepts. We talk, we've been ta talking about that. We, The grand play, the long game, is we would really like to make this into like a, let's say, regional thing. So, like regional tournaments, except when you can, when you win the tournament, you control that territory as oh, your okay. your yeah. guild or your person controls. For a certain amount. Guys, you have a good one. Uh, Take care. All right, guys. I'm Michael with Five Crests. I'm a developer of the game, and Dean crushed me. So thank you, Board Game Social, YouTube, love it. Thanks, Dean. Thank you. It's a rarity that I win. Oh. Now when they play buildings, they don't add hope or despair to the town. So you, if they've been adding a lot of despair, you put that, get them kind of under control. So that's how a trial works. Um, and then so some of the other, other ones. And the cool thing here about um, the way these are triggered is that, um, let's say you have three hope, um, and you, I have maybe two. Um, you want to do a trial. You know, you want to put him on trial. I can't play power, otherwise you Okay. You guys can agree to lose power. Yes. Five. Uh, and I get five. Right. Or if you can't agree, I get five. Oh, okay. So I. I... Well, I was not sober last night. Ah, oh, I got gotcha. you. <laughs>
Have you been able to play it? Have you played it yet? I have not played it. Um, a buddy of mine, uh, Forrest, yeah. Yeah, I think you guys are yeah, 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 well yeah, yeah. acquainted with, mm -hmm. he uh, touts it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, But he never breaks it out of game night. What a jerk. I know. How are you doing? <laughs> well, it's a great idea. Yeah. So why don't I, why don't I transfer there and load up the mole. Okay, so that should all be free, right? Those transfers? Yeah, I think so. So then I move this guy, that's my that's one action. Move him to North America. Okay, so now I need to get Oh, and and all right, sitting down to check out the board game Barony. It's an Asthma Day Madigo production. Designer Mark Andre. This is a scheduled event for 2 p.m. on Friday of Gen Con. So, gonna play this about an hour and a half uh, scheduled event, and I'll let you know what I think after the game is over.